Paralysis in broilers has become a nightmare to many farmers. For any farmer to treat paralysis in his or her flock, proper understanding of the different causes of paralysis is very key. That is why in today's video, I am going to discuss the different categories of paralysis in broilers based on their cause. I am also going to discuss with you how to prevent and treat these paralysis in broilers, for example, using the organic treats because these paralysis have led to a lot of losses to many poultry farmers. Before we continue, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please take this moment and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell no notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video. Make sure also that you hit uh, that like button and tell us where you are watching us from and if you have any suggestions, any concern or any topic that you would want us to handle, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, the first question that we're going to ask ourselves is what is paralysis? If you ask many farmers, they will say that paralysis is lameness and that is not wrong because lameness is a type of paralysis but paralysis encompasses a lot uh, more than just lameness birds inability to move any part of the body is also paralysis it is the incoordination uh, between the muscle the nerves and the central nervous system enough of the science what are the causes of paralysis in broilers the major causes include overweight nutritional causes there's infection infections or diseases there's also the developmental causes the toxins and also the injuries for the ease of understanding how to identify treat and prevent paralysis in broilers i will narrow down into three categories the first category or category one this is paralysis that is caused by poor nutrition a nutritionary related paralysis in broilers are very treatable if detected at an early stage these types of paralysis are due to lack of proper supplementation of vitamins and minerals to the chicken and this goes back to what is the composition of your feeds do you buy feeds from a trusted and reputable suppliers take an initiative to know if the feeds have the required amounts of minerals especially calcium and phosphorus calcium and phosphorus are very essential for bone formation and low levels of these minerals or any imbalance in their ratios in feed will lead to poor bone development leading to paralysis for the vitamins i suggest that you supplement your birds with organic treats and there is no other place to know about all the possible treats that contain vitamins for your birds apart from this channel because you have made a lot of videos on organic treats for supplementing to your broiler so that you can be able to boost their growth and be able to cater for their health let us get into the second category this is a category of paralysis caused by infections most of the diseases causing paralysis are incurable because most of them you will find that they are viruses this is also because they affect the nerves and the nerves lack the regenerative capacity this means that once a nerve is destroyed uh, for example by a pathogen or an infection it cannot gain its function back and that is why it becomes very hard to treat these neurological associated illnesses for example paralysis what are we to do then number one is vaccination make sure that your birds are vaccinated against especially for the marex disease at the hatchery or vaccinate them immediately after they arrive or reach at the farm if they were not vaccinated at the hatchery i am insisting on this because marex disease is the number one paralysis causing disease in poultry birds uh, live alone broilers the number two thing that we are going to do is that we are going to have proper biosecurity measures you cannot afford to take a shortcut on this install foot buds at the entry of the coop use the small size wire to cover the walls of the coop to prevent wild birds that may carry disease uh, from other farms or from elsewhere remember some viral diseases that also cause uh, paralysis 
uh, in our birds can also affect wild birds. Therefore, keeping away these wild birds will increase the safety against diseases in your flock and authorized personnel shouldn't get into the chicken coop. The number three thing that you are going to do is offer organic treats to your chicken because these organic treats help to boost the immunity of your broilers that even if a disease strikes, your broilers will be able to withstand the wave and issues like paralysis will be out through the window you are not going to experience challenges uh, like paralysis now let us get into the third category uh, this type of paralysis is caused by external factors for example the injuries and the toxins paralysis caused by injury is treatable and if it's not fatal the bird can recover paralysis by injury mostly occurs when broilers are young for example during transportation to the farm and during packaging and unpacking packaging of the chicks when the chicks arrive at the farm and package them gently and check for fractures and abnormalities avoid using newspapers in brooders this is because the broiler chicks may slide and this causes the spray legs which lead to paralysis therefore i suggest rather you use the wood shavings remember don't use the sawdust because the chicks have not yet known about uh, you know cannot be able to differentiate between the feed and the sodas and you may find them having digestion complications because they have fed on those tiny particles of the sodas therefore uh, and this can cause a lot of uh, digestive uh, complications which can lead to the death of the chick therefore make sure that you use the wood shavings they are safe they have a good grip and the chick cannot be able you know to feed uh, on on the uh, on the wood shavings paralysis by toxins is due to feeding expired or poorly stored feeds if feeds or feed ingredients are stored in damp damp in dumpy places this leads to cases of botulinism and aspergillosis these diseases are very fatal because their toxins affect the nerves leading to paralysis and buy feed that can uh, take that can take you for only one month this helps to, to minimize the cases of feed poisoning a feed also should be stored in a dry and cool place therefore make sure that you hit uh, the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know the secret the secret feeding strategy for the day old chick to boost their growth and performance